Something I listened to both of them, and there's something that's similar here. You each were, uh, you asked four questions, and maybe that's what you were allowed to ask by uh, the campaign or the White House. But they were essentially the same questions, both interviews, about accomplishments, progress in your respective state, what's at stake in the election, what he has to say about his debate performance, and what he would say to voters who think uh, their vote doesn't matter or might sit this election out. Were those questions given to you by the White House or did you have or the campaign or did you have to submit questions ahead of this interview? The questions were sent to me for approval. I approved of them. OK, so the White House sent the questions to you ahead of the interview. Yes. OK, and I got several questions, eight yeah. of them, and the four that were chosen were the ones that I approved. OK. And the reason I ask is not a criticism of either of you. It's just that if the White House is trying now to prove the um, the vim, vigor, acuity of the president, I don't know how they do that by sending questions first before the interview so that the president knows what's coming. Everything about Biden is fake. Joe Biden's teeth are fake. His hair is fake. His face is fake. His entire life story is fake. The damage he has done to America, not fake. Here were the top comments from yesterday. Tracy Case, Trump just needs to focus on the issues of the U.S. and stay on point. He'll be in the White House in 2025. Correct. That's what the independents want to hear, and you need him to win. Maggie Lee Flowers, the whole world is on fire because of his successes, and he thinks we're supposed to celebrate him for it. Shake my head. Two ladies in one day. Wow. Not really my key demo, but I appreciate it. And Linda. Holy crap. Three women sweeping the board. So, being forgetful, mumbling crap, and being incoherent are symptoms of a cold now. Yeah. Okay. FJB. I appreciate the views and the comments. Keep them coming. Until next time.